Hello, and welcome to my edit bay. If you're new here, I teach about Final Cut Pro, Apple Tech, and filmmaking. Today we're going to do a Final Cut Pro tutorial, but I want to talk about why I am doing this very beginner basic tutorial. Now, if you just want to get to how to do this, the tutorial part, skip to the next chapter. You don't have to listen to my intro and all that. But I'm someone who watches YouTube, and I stumbled across a channel that I really enjoyed. It's a channel called Indoor Cat, and this woman's very first YouTube video has over like 150,000 views. And she talks about what's going on in her life and all of that kind of stuff. She has three, four, maybe five videos out right now. And her most recent video I was sitting down to watch, just kind of hanging out with Indoor Cat, enjoying her content. And she mentioned Final Cut Pro. She's editing all of her videos in Final Cut Pro, but she was struggling to figure out how to do what she called smoothing out her audio. Now the audio she's referring to is her dialogue audio, just like what you're hearing with me. And when she would cut up her A-roll, which is this, the images of me talking to camera, when she would cut up her A-roll, she would hear these little... Every cut was just like... She wanted to know how to smooth those out. And that's what we're going to cover in today's tutorial. Now, Indoor Cat did a great job of actually showing how she figured it out. She said that there weren't any tutorial videos that talked about this specifically, so I thought I would make one. But she also showed what she ended up doing to smooth out her audio. And while it did get her the result that she wanted, it wasn't the ideal way to do this. Final Cut has some awesome features that allows you to smooth out or crossfade your audio, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I have a video here that I filmed a few weeks ago. It's doing really great, about 35,000 views, all about why Apple killed the Aperture photo editing app. Now we're gonna use this as the basis for the tutorial. So we've got my A-roll here where I'm talking to camera, and this is in the studio behind me. You can see it through the door there. And I have a bunch of cuts in my A-roll, and if we zoom in, there's no crossfade here. Now, what was Indoor Cat doing to smooth out these audio transitions? She learned that you could detach audio by right-clicking your clip and selecting Detach Audio. And then she would pull her clip out this way, she would detach this audio, pull her clip out this way, and then she would use these little handles here in Final Cut to do her crossfade. And again, while this works, it's not something that I recommend, partially because it's destructive to your A-roll clips. When you detach the audio, you can't reattach the audio. You can't just right-click this and choose reattach audio. There's no option for that. So it's destructive in nature. Now you can reattach it by doing undo, and I'll go ahead and undo all this until we get things back the way they were. Now Final Cut has a couple of features in here that really make doing audio crossfades very easy. And I'm going to show you two ways that you can do it. The first way I'm going to show you how to do it is the longer, a little bit more time intensive way. It's a little bit more of the, the custom way, if you will, versus the shorter, more automated way. So if we right click on the clip again, you can see that we have an option for expand audio. You can also use the Control S keyboard shortcut to expand your audio. And you can see it creates this gray bar between your video portion of the clip and the audio portion. Now with this expanded, now you can drag out your audio clip. Because without it that way, let's go ahead and undo, you can't just drag out your audio. Because it's attached to video, it's both extending the video and the audio together. So the fact that Final Cut puts the audio in the video into a single clip can be a little frustrating for editors who have switched over from Premiere Pro especially, or maybe have upgraded from Final Cut Pro 7 and are now editing in Final Cut because they come together. But you can keep those clips linked, but then manipulate them separately by using the Control S keyboard shortcut, or again, right-clicking and choosing Expand Audio. Now, the audio, while still linked to the video, keeping synchronization preserved, you can extend that audio cut to do what here is called a J cut, or if you wanna do it on this one, you can extend your audio here and do what's called an L cut. An L cut because it's the shape of an L, J cut because it's the shape of a J. But what if you wanna crossfade both of them? Now, technically right here, you are going to be doing a crossfade if you do this. 
because you have a fade in and a fade out on this one. That is a crossfade. But what if you want a little bit more room to crossfade them? Maybe there's different noises. You've got city street outside, then all of a sudden it's quiet. And like Indoor Cat, you want that fade to be a little bit smoother. This is the more time intensive manual way of doing it right here. So this is in, in a sense, an audio crossfade, and that's going to smooth out your audio. This video is not the best video to use to do this tutorial, so my apologies. I'm in a controlled environment. I'm using a high quality microphone to capture my audio, so I don't have a lot of um, unsmooth audio that Indoor Cat might have because she's vlogging in her New York City apartment. But you get the idea when you hear that kind of weird pop or crackle, or again, you're filming one moment where you're filming next to a window and there's loud city, city noises outside, and then you're filming maybe in a bedroom where those noises aren't as loud. The audio doesn't sound smooth as it transitions between scenes. This is how you can crossfade that audio or smooth out the audio to make it sound a lot better and smoother for your viewer. Now, what's the shortcut way? Method number two to do this. Final Cut a little while back, introduced a new feature where they let you do an audio crossfade just by using a keyboard shortcut. So let's go ahead and go to a clip where we can show this. I'm gonna hit V to disable, and you can see here, we do not have an audio crossfade on these two clips. But if I select both clips and then hit the Option T keyboard shortcut, you can see that it automatically applies a crossfade between the two clips. So let's break this down a little bit and let's undo it. What's it doing when you use the Option T keyboard shortcut? So right now, if we hit Control S on both clips, you can see they butt up right next to each other. The audio isn't an L cut, a J cut, or a crossfade between them. So let's go ahead and put these back together. We'll, we'll do Control S to put them back into, uh, into sync to, to unexpand them. And then let's hit the Option T keyboard shortcut. And then while they're selected, let's hit Control S to see what it did. You can see here, it put a crossfade automatically between the two clips. Now, when will this not work? The reason this is working is because these clips, I have extra audio for it to use. I have frames for it to consume to be able to make that audio crossfade. If this clip ended here, like you saw a red line here at the edge of this clip, you wouldn't have the frames that it needs to consume to make that crossfade. So you gotta watch out for that if you're doing uh, the keyboard shortcut for audio crossfades. Now, one thing that's really cool about this feature is that you can do audio crossfades in bulk. So let's say I haven't done any audio crossfades between this set of clips, and I wanna add a crossfade. Select all of those clips and look closely at the edit point because you're gonna see crossfades go on. If we hit Option T, you're gonna see crossfades are now on all of these clips. You can see it here, a little bit of the crossfade. If we control S, control S, you can see Final Cut has done that crossfade. Now I always recommend listening back to the crossfade just to make sure it doesn't sound weird or when it did pull in new frames uh, beyond your cut point that it didn't bring in, you know, you saying a word or some other sound that creates an issue. But these are the basics of smoothing out your audio and creating audio crossfades in Final Cut. But for those of you out there who are new to YouTube, who are new to creating content, and you're getting feedback from your viewers that your audio is really, uh, it's not transitioning well between your cuts, this is how you can smooth out your audio in Final Cut Pro. And for Indoor Cat, if you happen to watch this video, uh, which is a response to your video, I highly recommend not using the detach audio method for doing your crossfades. I recommend doing it manually by using the control S or expand audio menu option and then manually crossfading or using the option T keyboard shortcut. Now one last little bonus thing I'm gonna show you. A lot of you when I do these tutorials, you're curious about these uh, consoles I have here. I have an iPad with Stream Deck Mobile. I've got this which is called the Monogram Video Console. And this allows me to do some of those uh, crossfades with just the push of a button. So let's say I wanna do an audio crossfade between these two clips. Instead of taking my left hand and doing option T on my keyboard, I can press this button on my video 
uh, console and it will do the audio crossfade just from the press of a button. If I undo that, I'll show you again. I've got both of these clips selected. I can press this dial button and it'll put the audio crossfade on there. I have a lot of keyboard shortcuts, more complex keyboard shortcuts programmed to my Monogram video console and of course to my Stream Deck Mobile. I just use this to set up my Logic Pro audio recording, my QuickTime screen recording, and of course I have a number of other speedy macros and keyboard shortcuts that are combined into the push of a button. If you're curious about how I use these in my edit bay, I have a couple of videos that I'll link down in the description and you can check them out. But that's it for this tutorial. Audio crossfades, or better yet, smoothing out audio. We also touched a little bit on what is a J cut and an L cut. It's a little bit of a different use case. We're focusing primarily on those crossfades. Two ways to do it. Definitely don't do the detach audio method. I highly recommend not doing it that way. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'd love to expand more. If you have more audio things that you wanna know about, let me know. I can make more tutorials about that. So if you're a beginning YouTuber like Indoor Cat is, you can hit the ground running with higher quality editing uh, and sort of technical mastery of Final Cut Pro so that your videos are exactly what you envision. A nice smooth vibe, awesome experience for your viewers. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you all soon. Don't forget, keep chopping that broccoli.